Welcome to the whatbinder.com thinglink tutorial. Today we're going to look at how to create our very first image-based thinglink. The first thing you need to do is direct your web browser to www.thinglink.com. Once there, click on the start for free button. If you already have an account, you can log in or create one. I suggest that all students and teachers use their Gmail account by clicking on the Gmail button. As I've already created an account, I was able to quickly log in. If it's your first time, you'll have to answer a number of questions stating if you are a teacher or a student or any number of other options. You will also be required to add in your birth date and your name. You can see my name is over here. Once you've logged into ThingLink, you're ready to start creating. To do that, click on the Create button at the top and select Upload Image. I've already grabbed an image for this using pixabay.com for royalty-free Creative Commons images. I'll click on this image and select Open. This will upload it to my ThingLink account so that we can begin creating our very first ThingLink. Here you can search for other content. Here you can see a video on how to use ThingLink and here you can see your image. We're going to title this My First ThingLink. Now the point of ThingLink is to add digital pegs to an image. For example, I could click on these glasses and it has created a digital peg for me. Now you'll see there are more options. The first is the actual icon itself. You can see that there are a number of free icons that you can use without having to pay for the upgraded account. I'm going to select the red pin. And you can see how that's changed. Here, you can have that pin either go towards a web address where it will immediately load the information for the site or you could add another pin by double clicking somewhere else on the file we're going to make this one green and you can see that you can simply make this text Finally, we're going to add another pin to these images here. This one I'm going to set as a camera because I'm going to upload an image file. For our tutorial, I will upload the exact same file that I've already used and you can see that this now is in uploading mode. The image displays here and any text put in the side will be added. Now because we think that this photo is important, we can grab the anchor and drag it to make this image bigger. Because we don't think the glasses are important, we can make it smaller. And if we want to move it around, we can put it down here. And if we've decided that we no longer want this icon, instead we want to let them know that it goes towards somewhere else, we could simply select a new icon. At this point, you're almost done creating your thing link. You can see that we have three different tags, and now we need to present it. What we're going to do
is save our tags and then save our thing link. This will take us to the save screen and you can see the editor is gone but you are still able to look at your file. This is the viewer mode. When you share your thing link with your students this is what they will see. To share it you can click on the share button and get an embed tag to put into your website, options to share it through social media, or a web link. You can copy this web link and attach it to any sort of assignment or to your Google Classroom. Students directed to that link will see this and be able to highlight various objects on the image and explore your thing link. You will see that you can also choose to view it in full screen. Or of course, you can choose to delete your file. If you aren't done with it, you may click on the pencil to go back to the editing mode. As the edit screen loads, you may realize that you wanted a new peg. Of course, if you realize that it was perfect the first time you had it, you don't have to save that peg. And if there is a peg that you do not want anymore, you can simply click on the delete button and it's gone. We can save our image, and the same URL will still allow people to view this. Hopefully, that helps you understand how to use ThingLink to create your very first image. Please see the whatbinder.com ThingLink tutorials for more advanced functions, as well as ideas for why and how to use ThingLink in your classroom.